Keep a lookout for the girl. We have to stop her. Pretty sure she'll be back real soon. This may sound crazy, but... What if saving our doubles from execution is how we save ourselves? I was only hunted after my double... Fireflies. That's what's causing the glow. Looks kind of beautiful, don't you think? Kind of weird looking. Save me. My apologies for the lateness of the hour, but I must speak with you. What ails you, my friend? It is Mary. I am troubled by her, by the part she has played in these trials. Those trials trouble us all. There is more to this. I saw her smile as her own sister was executed. She took pleasure from it. Are you certain? I am. But now that she speaks of guilt and remorse, it is hard not to believe her. Keep away from her, Abraham. No good can come from being with that child. Too late. With her brother and sister gone, Mary now lives under my roof. Your charity places you in grave danger. What do you advise? Tell the court you suspect she toys with us all. That you saw a delight in her own sister's death. I implore you. I am torn. Mary seems full of Keep remorse. Your suspicions to yourself, and it's our community which will suffer. None of us is safe from her wild imaginings. Very well. If the court will listen, I will speak. I am bewitched. You're not bewitched. How else can your presence be explained? I, I can't explain this, but you're not. She has conjured you to defend her. To press me into silence. Only the devil could create a demon who so resembles me. I'm not a demon. But we do look alike, which I agree is pretty damn weird. What do you want from me? I want to know what you're going to say to the court. About Mary. I was decided to speak to the court. Now I am not so sure. I know how this must look, but you have to speak out. Tell everyone what the girl did, like your friend is telling you to. The devil has sent you to tempt me. I must not succumb. Little Hope is no longer the town I knew. Strange and disturbing events have become commonplace. You, whatever you are, are but one of these. Revealing the truth about Mary may save my friend, but it does not sit easily with me that in doing so I condemn a child. Putting it all on a kid isn't right. The priest is the one driving this whole thing. That's way off. We gotta stop the kid. No other way to do this. Reverend Carver is a man guided by God. No one can doubt that. Bad move there, man. Standing up for the kid is probably gonna do us all in. I hope you're wrong. For all our sakes. What happened? You get a chance to confront Mary? No. We never even saw her. Fuck. Let's check that out. It'll get us out of these damn woods, and we can talk on the way.
Whatever we saw back there, or thought we saw, we're still in grave danger. The only way out of this freaking nightmare is to stop Mary, stop her lying. You had a chance to get Mary exposed for what she is, a liar and a faker. Put her in the dock for a change. Why didn't you take it? We don't know for sure that stopping Mary will help us out. It's just a theory. It may only be a theory, but right now it's all we've got. This is a one-shot deal. We get it wrong and there's no replay. It's game over, so I'm up for doing whatever it takes. Come on, let's take a look. Check this out. Hey! That guy's a menace. I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. Come on, inside. been here for a long time. <laughs> now is my time to speak before the judge. I am filled with dread. I cannot know how my testimony will be received. The devil has blinded so many to what is real and what is not. Nothing good will come of this. His words will seek to twist the truth. Allow me to judge what is true. Abraham and Joseph are allies in this deception. And lest we forget, you condemned Joseph to death only yesterday. Or do you now question that decision? I have heard nothing today to sway my conviction. Joseph consorted with the same malicious force as his wife. For this, the court thanks Reverend Carver, who faced the devil's wrath to present the evidence. It is only my duty, Judge. Now, however, this court is duty-bound by law to seek out the truth. We must therefore examine these claims made by Abraham against Mary. If I may speak briefly, Judge Wyman. Time is short, Reverend. Be indeed brief. Mary has shown great fortitude to speak out against the evil here. Many would have lacked her courage. Yet her reward for exposing this brooding covered in our midst is to be besmirched. Her courage is not in question. It is her intent we must be certain of. Her accuser is the very man entrusted to care for this innocent child. Plain to see, he is not fit for such a task. And I would ask the court to have Mary placed elsewhere. Who would you have be her new ward, Reverend? I am prepared to take responsibility for the child. If the court agrees. First, the court must hear what Abraham has to say. No decision can be made on the child until then. Abraham! What am I to do? 
Some would have me speak out against Mary, but could a child truly be capable of such evil? This is tough. I get that. It would be for anyone. Mary, it's just a kid. Tell the court what you have come here to say. Speak up, boy. Out with it! Mary has spoken of evil spirits, devilry and witchcraft. Things many cannot believe could exist here in I'm Little I'm not Hope. here for history and hearsay. Get to the point, boy. Mary is tormented. The apparitions she has seen, they have plagued her, stolen her innocence. Some suggest she is in league with these creatures, but no one can be certain. Myself, least of all. Can any of us truly know a child's mind? You claim I lack the ability to see the truth. I beg forgiveness. I would never suggest such a thing. My time is not for wasting. You and the priest have irked me enough for one day. I have more to say. I have already given you enough time. Furthermore, Mary is to be placed into the care of Reverend Carver. Now stand down. Tell me everything. Did you see Andrew's double again? He told the judge that Mary did nothing wrong, like... She's the victim here. Oh, that's bad. Very, very bad. Shit! So what happens now? This helps us. Has to. We now know for sure that we can alter what happens. You agree with him? It went down just like he said. What the fuck? We can't stay. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Look at those outfits. This place shut down way, way back. Life as a kid in the 70s. Everything was ahead of me. There's got to be another exit. Maybe on the ground floor? Get over here. You gotta see this. This is too fucking weird. <sighs> this is too much. Way too fucking much. First, a load of weirdo witch killers from ancient history look just like us. Now, we got the creepy family of the year winners who also look just like us. What the actual fuck? What does it mean, though? Do you think they died like the other lookalikes? No clue. Who knows what happened to them? Maybe we're all stuck in the same nightmare. You really want a souvenir? From this night? From this place? All I know, I'm keeping hold of this. What you said about all this being a nightmare. You mean that? If it's my nightmare, why are you guys all in it? Any of us could say the same thing. I don't know what's real here. Are you the real Andrew? Oh, come on. So wait. Who are those people in the photograph? Maybe time is fucked up here. Like, 
that really is us in that photo. But they're around the same. What's the story here? She leave him for some other guy? Okay, so what's your th- You hear that? Right below us. We need to find a way out of here, now. That's heavy. Andrew, get your ass over here and help me out. What's up? You take that side, I'll take this side. Push together, right? Good. Now, push! Whoa! Oh, shit! Ah! Hey, are you okay down there? Let's go before anything else happens. Daniel out here? No. He's not here yet. Okay, let's keep going. Daniel will be okay. He'll catch us up. Daniel! You okay? Daniel? Please answer me! Daniel? Where are you, buddy? Andrew! Hey! 
Hey! You guys! I'm up here! Boy, am I happy to see you. At least I'm not the only one damp and disheveled. Stay on your toes. Anything could happen. No one in Little Hole is safe while you still draw breath, Joseph. You must die today. Not even your wife Amy was spared your lust to serve Satan. Damn me if you must. You're not fit. Speaking of my late wife! There is still fight in you. I must drive the devil out for the safety of everyone here. Oh, no one is safe! Joseph, do you renounce the devil and all his teachings? I carry no sin. I'm no disciple of the devil. I found his infects you in madness. Roy, you but saints! Servant! We have to stop this. Get away! You give me that! Look! See how this poor child is tormented. Joseph still clutches her with the devil's hand. More stones! The devil must be crushed from within him. Do not flinch. The fate of Little Orb rests in your hands. We're screwed. There is no way out from this nightmare. We don't have a lot of time. Time for what? John! What are you doing? I can't get away from this thing. You saw what happened to Taylor. I'm not going the same way. Are you crazy? We gotta move!
I need you here. Is it gone? I don't see it anymore. We need to figure a way out of here before that thing finds a way in. Place looks like it burnt down. Nothing here isn't right. What's new? Nothing here feels right. You're gonna want to see this. Angela and I were married. This makes less and less sense. You hear that? I did. It can only be the girl. Let's go find her. She's in here. Stay here. Find the goddamn vital, will you? And 
true? What are you doing? He knows I was about to confess all to the judge. No way. You protect me. You must. Wait, this isn't right. No way. I assure all gathered here today that our town will be free of the devil's grasp. Together, by God's grace, little hope will prevail. My word on it. This court is hastily convened, but with good reason. If we are to finally rid ourselves of the evil which has infested Little Old, then we must act today. I accuse you, Mary, of witchcraft. What say you, Reverend? The evidence, as discovered through my investigation, is beyond question. Mary uses her puppet as a familiar to summon and serve the devil. We have been deceived by a child, by her guise of innocence. This puppet was mistakenly used to denounce Tabitha, but it has always belonged to Mary and Mary alone. She allowed her own kin to be executed as she watched in silence. That is not so. Liar! Now this tainted child, this creature of Satan, has the marrow to accuse me, a man of God, of wrongdoing. Whatever she pulls, do not fall for her little girl act. She may be a child, but there's no doubt she means harm. She's malicious. It was never my intention to bring harm to this town or its people. Can you not help me? What can I do? If I could do something to stop this, I would, but now in her hour of greatest need, I this child of the damned pleads once more for the Wait. devil's help. I beg the court's indulgence. Please guide me at this time. This I seek your counsel. No question there is something very wrong here. Right in the heart of this place. There can be no doubt that little hope is afflicted. That darkness has taken hold of our town. There is not a man or woman here today who does not already know the devil is in our midst. The sole purpose of this court is to remove evil, not indulge it further. Our time is not for wasting. Listen to what he's telling you. Mary's the one to accuse. How do I make my decision? If I am wrong, I condemn an innocent to die. The only way I can see out of this is to get rid of that damned doll. Destroy that and... The puppet must be cast asunder. Maybe this all goes away. It is the cause of Mary's affliction. It holds her in its thrall. Destroy this puppet, and the devil will depart Mary. She will be restored, an innocent child. Reverend, burn the puppet. Destroy it. You must not act in haste. The girl must face the full consequences of My her deeds. My authority is not for questioning. Do as I ask. done everything you could. Whatever happens, it's not your fault. Do we think that's it? I figured that if the doll... and then that would be the end of it. You made the right decision. There's no way you could have known what was going to happen. Let's just get out of here. What's up? You okay? That child won't be troubling us again. This is over.
real sorry. I know it wasn't your fault. Both of us been through some real tough time these past years. About half a mile or so, there's a diner with a working phone. You call for help and you leave this place. And don't you ever come back. Ain't nothing left here for you. I'm real sorry for what I've put you all through. That's gonna haunt me forever. You're not alone here. Take it easy on We've yourself. We've all been through you hell, that, right? Finally you getting out of this hell. Blame yourself, right? <laughs> I just wish we all could have made it. traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Just shut up! This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? That's funny. Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. You shouldn't be drinking right now. I don't think it's a good idea. Drinking's all I got left. In there. Get the hell out of here. I'll go once I look you in the eye. Now let me in. Hey! I don't think he gets how bad a mess we're in. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can get a different result. That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, they will haunt you forever. Not a bad effort. Some found redemption, some didn't. All you're doing.
And you eventually found him, the bus driver. Maybe he can now put the past behind him. Till we meet again, maybe in the South Pacific, or the Arabian Desert, or somewhere else. But we will meet again, at least one more time. Won't you spare me over for another year? 